it's it's huge in here. I don't know what I expected, but it's definitely overwhelming. I like pushing myself and trying stuff that I haven't done before, so I feel like it's definitely gonna be a challenge. When I first walked in the door, it was crazy. Seeing this thousands of times in videos, I don't know, it was just surreal actually being in the barracks. So seeing how big the wall looked was a little intimidating as well. But man, that first paint stroke went on and I just knew we gotta get it done, so. I first started drawing mazes when I was seven, and they were really basic. It was an after-school program, and I don't know, I just really enjoyed it. So as the years progressed, I kept drawing them. Then eventually I wanted to try something different, so I thought, I'm gonna put celebrities' faces into these. And since I was involved in skateboarding, I thought it was a perfect combination, and it was just a great connection between the two things that I love to do. The cool thing I found with skateboarders is that they're super down-to-earth people. The skate community really took in the mazes and uh, appreciated it, and so it was probably almost a year and a half, two years ago when Chase hit me up and said, hey, are you interested in doing a mural at the barracks? And I, I was in complete shock at the time. I couldn't believe that was even an option. So luckily the minions came together and we had this great way to tie the two pieces together. Drawing these mazes has led to tons of really cool opportunities for me. I thought the peak would always be if I could do a board graphic. I didn't think it could get any better than that. And now I'm sitting in the barracks getting to do a huge mural on the wall, which is something I never even imagined would happen. I'd never even considered doing large scale murals. I've done world record sized mazes. I've actually broke a world record three times. And then the last time was on a roll of paper that was two feet by 500 feet long. So while th those are really large mazes, it was different because those were all done with Sharpie. And once we had a, a design idea that was good to go, I uh, had the dimensions so we were able to scale it up. Got out here, got a projector set up and projected the image up onto the wall. Then it was just a matter of tracing over it with black paint. That was a, a learning experience for me, I've never done a whole lot of painting in my life. Like I said, everything I've done previously with mazes has been with Sharpies. And so we just went through, spent two full days of painting and touching up and cleaning up the lines. And after about 15 hours, we have a finished mural up on the wall. The maze is solvable. We've checked multiple times as we've done it, just in case we screwed something up. Overall, this trip has just been incredible. It's been a huge opportunity for me, a huge blessing. I feel super fortunate to have been able to come and do this, to take something that I love and to be able to put it up as an art piece for other people to see and enjoy is just truly an amazing thing that I get to do. I just can't thank everybody at the barracks enough for this chance. Having this up here, it's definitely surreal. You have a mini on a skateboard in the barracks now, man. I, I just never would have imagined this was anything that would ever happen. You know, like I said, I thought making a board graphic would be cool. Being involved with the barracks is something something that would have been obviously amazing, but I didn't even think about an opportunity like this, so.